I'm really excited to introduce this artist, uh, an amazing artist. Bob Colleen is our featured artist. She's uh, spent her early years of her career as an elementary school teacher. However, she always gravitated toward art, design, and color, which led her to becoming an interior decorator and a color, wardrobe, and beauty consultant. Since her retirement, she enjoys painting, mostly in acrylic, has created a greeting card line, and has written several children's books. Her soul talks is called Divine Intention. Please put your hands together and welcome Bob Colleen. I'm honored to be a part of the community, and I welcome you, and I welcome each of us, including me. Um, my talk is about divine intention, and the way I see it is that divine intention was a part of the plan. That divine part of us had a plan for each of us. And sometimes as we go through life, we acknowledge that, we move into it, we move out of it. Uh, life is full of change. That's the one thing we can be sure of. For me, my life shifted in about 2010. I was always an art appreciator, but never allowed myself the opportunity to jump in and actually paint or do a lot of things that I wanted to do, but I guess fear held me back. And it all shifted one time when a friend of mine, not a close friend, but he was moving from one location to another, and I was inspired to give him a call and say, well, I'll lend a hand. And it was kind of weird because, you know, I'm not a mover either. But uh, what happened as a result of that is I happened to ask, well, do you, he was a wonderful artist, do you ever give lessons? And he said, oh, sure, I do that. So I started taking lessons from him, and I learned a lot from him. This is an example of one of the works I created early on called Wise One. And now that we know so much about trees and how much wisdom comes through that, them, it has even more meaning for me. Uh, he taught me a lot about life. He had challenges, so as I would go to his studio every week or two and work, I would learn how to continue on. No matter what life presents you, there's always a, a lining, a silver lining in whatever happens to you. And he also taught me early on when I would get my canvas to bless it when I walked by. And before I began any session at his house, I would have that quiet time of asking the divine to move through me, move through my hands. And when I would work for a few hours and then I'd come back a week or two later, I would be amazed at what divine had created through me because it felt like more than I could do on my own and I know it was. So that evolved and then um, at some point I decided that well, I'll share. One thing I always wanted to do was part of Faith in Action at Spiritual Life Center. Every year they would feature an artist every week for about seven weeks. And I'm like, I would sit there every year thinking, I want that to be me. I want that to be me. But again, I wasn't allowing myself to, to go there. And so in about 2011, I started my journey of um, sharing with the bigger community my works of art. Um, as time went on, my, I shifted. In fact, this year, I made a major shift into this kind of work, which is called flow art. And um, the magic and miracles happen sometimes. And I love that aspect of it, because basically, it's a, a flow medium and acrylics that you place on canvas. And then you just play with it. You don't have to use brushes or anything else. But I also learned along the way that um, I took my meditation or my prayer before I began each session deeper. So I would ask for the beings from other dimensions in time, for the artists, past, present, and future, the masters, the divine ones, the angels, my guides, everybody to flow through me as they desired. And so this was one of them that was created, and it's called Divine Feminine. 
And if you can see, um, this is the original. So how did that happen? I don't know, but this is the painting that I did, and then I had it blown up as you see it here. But that's pretty magical, and that's, I guess, part of why I do it, is just to, to see what magic flows through me. <clears throat> I also, over time, have um, honed in on my intention, and I ask that my creative flow happens with ease and grace, because I don't want it to be hard anymore. I want, I want others to pick up, the other divine, divine to, to flow through me, and that seems to have taken things to a new level. And I also ask that my works be accepted and by anyone who would benefit from them with ease and grace. So I'm allowing that flow to not only come through me, but to reach others as well. I don't want to block that. I want anybody and everybody to benefit from my work if they're so inclined. The greeting cards, they came in 2010. Again, Spiritual Life Center. The, uh, in the Bible, it was the story of the talents and how one was given five talents, and he multiplied into five more, and one of the was given two, and he multiplied two more, and the one that was given one buried his talent, which is a measure of money. So when the master came back to see what the people had done with their talents, um, it was interesting because sometimes we view people and we think, well, they're so talented, what have I got? But the idea is no matter what talent you have, whether it's one talent, five talents, 10 talents, use what you have and it will expand for you. Uh, so with that, they had a, a thing going where we could share what we were doing and I decided I would use my greeting cards which came from journaling and create them from the messages. I would ask a question in my daily life of what was you know, something on my mind, something was bothering me, and then messages would come back. So that was the, the start of that. And over time, um, it expanded from there because originally it was done with uh, just handmade materials. So I had to come up with an idea if I was going to expand bigger to come up with another way of, of doing this as far as the art was concerned. So I developed encaustic, which is uh, wax. Uh, and it was really neat because now I could make all kinds of wax images and pair them up with the verses. So uh, that's how that unfolded. And I love what has been created through me. Then there are the books. Back in about 2010 or so, or maybe 11, through my journaling, a book wanted to come through. And it wanted to be called Children Ask, Love Answers. And it's questions children might ask of God and what came through as the potential answers. And um, there are copies of the book, so you can see them. But the cool part of that was that there are books for children, but there are people of every age that appreciate them. Questions that we all have, like, why does God let people die? Should we pray with others? Should I shut my eyes when I pray? You know, just kind of some of those kind of fun ones the kids would ask, and then other ones like, why, why, why does God let people die? And what came through was that um, when we're through with our work here, we're uplifted from our body, but of course we know our soul continues on. So something along those lines came through. So um, I hope you take time to look at those as well. Um, so along the way, my best self came through. That was the second book. And thanks to JG, that came into birth. I thought I was supposed to take uh, the other book, Children Ask Love Answers, into a bigger venue, like take it out of the scrapbooking arena and have it professionally printed. And he told me, no, there's another book. In fact, there's a series. And this one is something about the heart. So I'm thinking, well, I don't know. But I went home that day, and I looked online on Facebook, and someone had printed, it had something about little stick figures with hearts. You know, the hearts were the bodies, and they were stick figures. And I thought, well, that's the message. That's like, yes, I'm supposed to do that. So I went ahead and uh, wrote the book, and this is it. And it's about your best self, which is the part that goes with you wherever you go. And it's your heart self. And as that evolved, again, sometimes I do things the hard way. 
And this was one of those easy ways because it was created very quickly. I contacted a woman I didn't know and asked her if she would um, answer some questions because I didn't want to like go into a field I didn't, knew nothing about and spend two years trying to figure things out. So she said, sure. So I asked a list of questions. She answered them. And she also referred me to um, a copy editor or the, you know, the one that looks proofreads your work and sees if she can make it better. So that was cool. And then I found an illustrator online um, that I liked her, her vibe. And uh, so she created that from Canada for me, all the illustrations. And so very quickly, it came out. And it's on CreateSpace, Amazon. And of course, I have copies as well. So all those things lead me to say that it's about um, allowing the flow to show through up through me and through each of us, because there is that flow of talents that we each showed up to be a part of, to express. And that's why we're really here. We're not here to be afraid of anything. We're here to express and to get out of our comfort zone a little bit and see what happens, because the divine has a plan for each of us. Mm -hmm.